Nerd On The Podcast is proudly partnered with Apogee Electronics and Odyssey Headphones, leaders in the field of audio. I'll blindfold myself oh. and you just talk like Wolf would and we'll have sex. I'm like, that oh. is ridiculous. Send me a pic. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Nerd On, the podcast you didn't need, but you deserve, and where all levels of nerd are welcome. I know I say this for every episode, but it's especially true uh, today. This mm-hmm. is a special episode. Uh, we are joined episode. for the fourth time. Ooh. Like, true, like, I... But it's we, we, like say, f- we say friend of the show. I would almost say, like, best friend of the show. Yeah. Like, yeah. But it's kind of like the first time. It's yeah. kind of like the first time. You know, like, because it's been such a long time. And yeah, it so has been. Life has occurred. Yeah. Yeah. You're just slowly becoming Jeff with your hair. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could meet some nerdy kid in the future and who's just, like, influenced by all the music I just put in all of the shows. I need yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, today is very special because we've never done this before. We, we decided to do a topic for this episode and Jeff wasn't a part of it. We were like, oh, we're going to do this topic because we've always wanted to do it. Well, we, I mean them, <laughs> wanted to do this topic because I'm an uncultured swine mm-hmm. and I had no idea what this was. Yes. Honestly, and it was Trigun. <laughs> we <laughs> were going to do an episode on Trigun and we were like, it just feels dirty. <laughs> Not to have Jeff yeah. on. It felt like th- we were like, it, 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 it would feel yeah. weird. It, it would like be che- like if we were cheating yeah, on if, Jeff. I was just about yeah. to say, like, it would feel like secret, cheating. Secretly release the episode. Also, a little bit like squandering our privilege, the fact that we've had such a good relationship with Jeff and yeah. other podcast shows probably do Trigon and never contact. I, I have to say, if I heard you guys oh, do a Trigon episode <laughs> I was not I'd be pissed. That, I would be pretty pissed. Yeah. <laughs> so it's true. Yeah. I mean, first, Funimation yeah. doesn't put me and try again and then you guys would have yeah, yeah, yeah. what's happening I'd be no, like true. really upset no, no. I wouldn't have let it happen yeah, I'd be no. like I did that show three times those guys are so ungrateful so <laughs> no. Uh, no I mean so way back when yeah. when the pyramids were still young mm. uh, we had Jeff in on our seventh episode that was almost 200 oh, wow. episodes ago yeah and we didn't know what we were doing I, I remember because Bonnie, my wife, has been friends with Jeff for a long time. And she was like, oh, Jeff does a lot of anime Digimon. I knew that. Yeah. I know I that, reference. that reference. Uh, <laughs> um, and I mentioned, you know, my my wife's friends with this guy named Jeff Nimoy. Yes, same Nimoy, that kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, he's done things like Digimon, this, this, Trigun. And they were these two were like, <laughs> hey. I'm sorry. Why isn't he here now? What? <laughs> Why'd we wait six other episodes for this, Josh? <laughs> and I, I still didn't know. I, I was still a baby anime watcher. Now I have some series under my belt. Now he's a Aww. baby with a diaper. Yeah. They grow up so fast. I know. Now I've seen some anime, and I watch Trigun. And so we are doing an episode on Trigun. Yes. But before we do that, we got to do the business. Yeah. Uh, I am Josh. I'm Corey. I'm Tom. I'm Caitlin. And this episode is brought to you in part by the members of the Nerd On Nation that is powered by Patreon. Patreon. As a member of the Nerd On Nation, you do get fun perks. Like you get early access to these episodes. You mm-hmm. get uh, bonus episodes that nobody else hears, which fun fact we are recording today. Mm-hmm. And you get access to secret channels on our Discord server that you get direct access to us. 
and other Nerd On Nation members. Uh, there's a lot that goes with it, so check it out, nerdon.tv backslash Patreon, and check out that Discord, nerdon.tv backslash Discord. Mm-hmm. And a huge shout out to our partners, Apogee, Odyssey Headphones, and Embody Audio. Embody Audio. Embody Audio. Embody Audio. Embody Audio. Uh, <laughs> Every time. It's, like it's so hard not so to do it. So culty right there, Embody Audio. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like a chant. We are not using Odyssey <laughs> Headphones today, uh, but normally on all of our episodes and our streams, we are on Odyssey Headphones. We just didn't have enough. And we just, we just wanted like Jeff's voice un- unfiltered. Yeah. unfiltered. Well, we want to see the locks. Holes. We want yeah. to see the Yeah, locks. we didn't want to mess up my hair. Right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly <laughs> that's the reason. <laughs> it took a whole year to grow this. I mean, look at his hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Apogee, they allowed us to get through the quarantine and, and keep doing our content. with you the, do with a show the, with Jeff? Exactly. The hype yeah. mic. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the hype mic, uh, the ultimate <laughs> podcasting microphone. Check it out. I can't. Uh, I can't talk about it enough. It's a great microphone. So check Pretty it good. out. And Embody Audio, they make oh, a yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they make a software that allows any type of headphone to be seven point one, and it's pretty amazing. Yep. We demoed it on our Twitch stream, so do check it out. We'll have a lot of content coming from uh, in partnership with them. True. And uh, yeah, that is it. That is the housekeeping. Let us get on to this uh, space western of an of an episode. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, Let's do a little catch up. Yeah, first of all, thank you for coming to the show. Yeah, Make, yeah taking some time. Uh, your uh, request and uh, uh, to to come in to be the first guest back after fourteen months of not having being able to do this. <laughs> yeah, we're still getting used to it. Yeah. Like we, he yeah. still said because one of our segments he he'll say we're going to go around the digital screens, screens. Yeah. but it's like oh wait now we can just say going the around table. the table. table. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just still getting used to the, like I still don't know if I like these guys. No, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then and then I guess like cracking the seal since we we did mention that we can do this as an explicit show. How the hell are you? I'm fucking good. Thank you. <laughs> That's explicit. You went with hell. I was like, oh, uh, you know. It's, it's I, I feel good. You know, during pandemic, uh, I was, you know, drunk pretty much every day. Mm. And uh, I woke up January 1st this year and go, I, I can't drink anymore. Yeah. So oh. I kind of quit drinking. Great. And well, I quit drinking at home. If you want for me a beer now, now sell it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I sort of quit drinking at home and got back on my sort of paleo diet, which mm. I'm, you look amazing. Sem- thank you very yeah, much. I'm game, right? semi-famous for my paleo stuff. And, it's uh, true, I follow. <laughs> thank you. And uh, I just feel really good and vaxxed and encourage what, what, what everyone brand? to get vaxxed. And why does everyone ask that? Like, it matters? Because it's, it's like a team thing. <laughs> it's like look, it, it, Team Moderna. There we oh, go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because like, look, 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 America. Tom and, has it, to quantify everything. Because yeah. if I was J&J, you'd be like, good, sit and one I more seat over, And I given Jeff. you a high You're five. around the J&Js. <laughs> and then across the table to Pfizer. So Pfizer yeah. fam. And if you're AstraZeneca, you can't even get on this No, podcast. yeah, it's true. Because <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, team Digimon versus team we can't mention, right? You know, like, <laughs> what, you know, how do we talk about more, you know? Don't so. say Can't we all just be happy that we're back? Yeah, exactly. And in the same room. But we can be teams about it. We can be teams about it. It's fine. And don't Moderna is the best one. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> so Vax <laughs> and on. out in the world. I just feel like I'm reborn, like alive again. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I want to spend at least time at home as I possibly can. Mm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In the summer heat. Did you Did you have any like life epiphanies while you were in that year? Uh, so quitting drinking is <laughs> a major one. Uh, no. That isn't enough. <laughs> Not uh, enough. <laughs> Wow. 25 pounds is enough. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not uh, enough. More, Jeff. <laughs> more, Jeff. More. <laughs> yes, I realized I actually did rewatch Trigun. Oh, oh, no kidding. Which had nothing to do with this. I didn't do it because you sure, told me you were sure, doing this. Sure. No, I swear. In fact, I probably already forgot most of it since you. <laughs> yeah. Because I did it early on. But, uh, you know, of course, I paid much more attention to the episodes Wolfwood was in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rest was sort of in the back. The thing is, so do I. <laughs> so that's okay. <laughs> Episode seven. Yeah. Is where it starts. Mm-hmm. Is it like, re- I mean, it's like you revisiting old work or something like that? I, you do. You don't remember. You don't really follow the story too much. You're like, oh, I remember where I was. Where <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That line. I remember and... what mood I was in and all that. Yeah. yeah. Especially, I mean, Wolfwood's death scene is so memorable to me that- uh. Uh, it, it, I I don't get emotional during it. I'm just just like, oh, that was such a pain in the ass. Dude. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have to rethink a lot of things today, guys. Pain in the ass in what way? Yeah. Well, you shared it before, but yeah, you know, please. Trigun. Yeah, Trigun to me is sort of bittersweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's had some really 
wonderful moments in my life, but it's also had some my most disappointing career moments as well. Mm. So among the great moments uh, are that when I go to a convention, I'm much more popular for Trigun than almost anything else, mm. even Digimon. It made the yeah. cover famous. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. Uh, I mean, people uh, don't even remember or, that I wrote and directed most of the first two seasons of Digimon. They don't even care that wow. much. You know, they love Tentamon. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, oh, well, I'm gonna, Tom, I'm you're speak, different. Yeah. I'm gonna speak out. <laughs> Sounds like because oh, and, and, and it's weird. It's like it's. I'm gonna say it in this way. It's, it's embarrassing to think of how much those shows influence. And I and I yeah, talk yeah. about where it's like the music that you chose and all this stuff. And I remember asking you, it's like, what made you decide? You're like, I don't know. Those are just the fun ones I liked. <laughs> and I was like, the music in the movie You're as famous? well as the sh- yeah. yeah, all well in, in the Digimon movie. Oh yeah, well, th- you know, again. There were all the hits back in the day, but that, that yeah. selection was kind of like a playlist that kind of just like, oh, that's that song Well, Digimon movie. the movie's a little different because, you know, licensing, it's, mm-hmm, you know, right. I, I don't know how many people turned us down. The, the Ron Kanan, who was head of the music department at uh, Saban Entertainment, Worldwide Entertainment, um, Fox Worldwide, they uh, he probably got turned down by a lot as well, but he did an incredible job with the Digimon the movie music. I was blown away when I saw the the music cut. Yeah, and uh, and I I was a real pain in the ass to Ron <laughs> as well, pushing yeah. him to you know let's well, get I mean, that music really going, and and he came through in incredible ways. But back to Trigun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, music is. A, I was just going to say. I know working with you on Famous. I know yeah. music is a very. Bi- it's important to you. It is in very terms of the whole yeah. experience. Yeah, and you can't just like oh, just throw a needle drop there. No, no, it's, no, no, no. Yeah. It me- needs I, to have meaning. It needs to have feeling. I, it's as a producer, I always work very closely with uh, the composers or whoever's selecting the already made music. You know, needle drops, what have you. Uh, as well as sound effects and everything else, but music is one of the big ones. You know? Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, I'm directing something and an actor will be like, can I give you another one? I'm like, no, because I'm going to have a big music sting here. <laughs> yeah. And no one's going to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not looking at the big picture. Yeah. I'm always, yeah. I've always got, you know, music and sound effects in my mind when I'm you know, recording actors as well. Anyway, um, so back to my great moments of Trigun, you know, yeah. these these conventions. The first time I ever did a convention was ASEN in Chicago. And I said, hi guys, uh, you probably remember me from Digimon. I just assumed that's all they knew me from. <laughs> and everyone's yelling, Wolfwood, Wolfwood, like 5,000 people. And I'm like, what? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Wolfwood, oh yeah. I, I I sort of remember because when we recorded Trigun, there was no Cartoon Network. There was no Adult Swim. It oh. went straight to DVD. Which when we had DVDs and uh, <laughs> Daddy, what's a DVD? Yeah, right. No, it was straight. Uh, it was uh, straight to you know, a home, home video. Yeah, home yeah. video. And it was just a job. And it, wow. Well, it wasn't just a job because I'll get to the other reasons. Sure, why it wasn't, sure, sure, but, sure. But it was one of a At string of hard anime to, yeah. jobs that I was an actor on. And uh, and so I just said, oh yeah, I I I think I played a guy named Wolf. Was that Trigun? And I got like a standing oh ovation. My God. <laughs> Chicago, stand up, Rosemont, uh, right outside of Chicago, and uh, it was just incredible. And so after that, I'm like, I should watch this show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and that was the first time I watched. Trigun wow. after years later after my first convention. Yeah. Okay, wow. uh, and that's uh, fascinating. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's one of the great moments. One of the bad moments is during the end of Trigun, the recording of Trigun for me, not the whole series, but Wolfwood's part in Trigun. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was it's <laughs> thirty years old now, twenty yeah. years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dies. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, so uh, I was directing. Season two of Digimon, simultaneously directing Digimon the movie. Oh my God. And I was working 20 hours a day, six days a week. And uh, on Sunday, I'd play softball, which I did today, <laughs> just to get my mind clear. Yeah, yeah. And then I go back to work. So I was working six and a half days a week and 20 hour days. It was like easy. Brutal. It was <laughs> yeah. brutal. And, oh, and okay. the, the casting director calls me on a Sunday night, which uh, he, like to do mm-hmm. a guy named Kevin Seymour and he Shout admittedly out. I'm yeah well he's passed on <laughs> oh. but uh Kevin admittedly liked to 
have a few glasses of wine oh, and cast no. his shows on Sunday night. Uh. And he called me and, uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm busy. I can't even talk. I'm ready to go to sleep right now. I have to be at work at six in the morning. And he's like, uh, we just need you for Trigon. I'm like, uh, I, I really don't have too much time to give you, Kevin. I'm really working hard. And he's like, great. We only need 11 hours. I was like, oh, I, yeah. I, was oh. Like, <clears throat> I don't have 11 hours, uh, but I'll be done in whenever it was, September, October. Yeah. Uh, so I'll be done then with the movie, and then I'll have plenty of free time again. Uh-huh. And he's like, you know, you had a few glasses of wine. And he said, oh, so you're pulling out of the series. Is that what you're telling me? <sighs> I said, no, that's not what I'm telling you. I'm mm-hmm. just saying I don't have 11 hours to give you. He's like, so you're reneging on your commitment to this show. And Whoa. I was like, Kevin, I don't even want to have this conversation. Yeah. Goodbye. And I hung up. <laughs> oh no! So and you've already recorded some. I recorded some... everything but eleven hours at that. Oh, yeah. Hours. Yeah. Wow. So wow. He, he, uh, he. So then the next series of weeks, everyone involved in Trigon called me. Oh no! Emailed me, wrote me, called me, whatever. And it was a series of why are you not doing the show, Jeff? I'm like. I, I am doing I the am. show. I just can't do it. I'm now. telling you my scheduling. Right? <laughs> and I said, "Work with me, baby." Right. And I said, "If let's say, uh, you know, I was an actor at the time as well, which was kind of crazy that I was still acting and right. writing and directing with a hit show. It's pretty, you know? it's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, a little stupid, a little but crazy. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they so, were different times. So I said, "What if I booked a, a movie, a live action movie in Australia or Romania at the time it was very hot." You yeah. know, and I had to go there or Vancouver, wherever. And I was gone for three months. You wouldn't have me then. Yep. And they couldn't see that logic. Mm-hmm. And uh, finally, Joe Romerso, who is one of the voice directors on that show, he called me and said, can we just do this and stop the harassment on you? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Joe, I, what do you want to do? He's like, I just need 11 hours. Oh, I was man. like, Joe, just because I'm so sick of it all. Friday oh, night, no. I will get off of work, and it was all the way up in Sun Valley. I get off oh. work in Westwood. I'll <laughs> grab some drive-in and eat dinner on the way there, and I will record uh, your eleven hours overnight. But you know, you've got to be there too overnight. Yeah, and uh, and and we're not leaving the studio until it's done because I'm not coming back. That's right. It. Oh my God. And get, get what you need. As a matter of fact, I never worked for that studio ever again. Oh, probably a smart move. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> well, it was their choice too. They yeah. thought I was abandoning them. So we recorded, and you know, that death scene mm-hmm. is oh. about 5 30 a.m. I'm not ready oh. to die. <laughs> oh, wow. And and I was just exhausted. And that's why I'm watching the death scene. Yeah. And I'm not emotional. Go, you know, I can't look at it and go, You're thinking of the experience. Some, yeah, I'm not thinking like that was some. Good acting I mean, or good writing. It is good I'm acting. Saying, I'm, not, I'm not doing any of that. I'm, I'm, like, like, I'm like, oh, I was so exhausted I, I rem- and dead. I remember you. <laughs> you're, I remember you saying this, and I remember like, man, he just hated his life <laughs> so much. He's like, I'm not ready to die. I was like, oh, he's ready to die. That's what yeah. he is. He's actually ready to go all the way. <laughs> wow. So for me, like, because Trigon is one of a handful of shows that was my my foot in the door for anime. Mm. It was like mm. this and Kenshin and Adult Swim, baby. Yeah. Um, and Wolfwood was like. <gasps> That's when I was sold on the show. Was when Wolfwood mm-hmm. comes in because it was this moral <clears throat> juxtaposition to to the lead yeah. and uh, that death scene specifically. It's so strange. To, it's 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 really fascinating mm-hmm. to hear the other Tumultuous. side of it. Well, because for me that was like a learning lesson in storytelling for me, where I was like, I you can because before that I was like uh, fourteen, I think heroes 15. don't die. Heroes don't die. Like why would you ever write a character out of a show like that? And that was the first time I went, oh. It can be a really beautiful thing, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and I mean, your acting in that, whether you know, all things aside, was phenomenal. <laughs> it really touched much. me in a way that like I changed pre- my trajectory as a storyteller. I really so. appreciate that. Yeah, it's, my, it's, my sister had a fat crush on that character. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you for buttoning my story with that, Tom. Tammy. I'm just well, <laughs> I, I did a little uh, a spoof of of this story. Uh, you know, Wolfwood gets a lot of, you know, mm-hmm. women saying, I want to, you know, sleep with Wolfwood. Mm-hmm. And I even spoofed it in Famish a little bit going, mm-hmm. well, uh, he's fictional. I'm <laughs> I'm not I'm re- Wolfwood. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jeff Nimoy. I have a poster of you. No, you don't. You have a poster of Wolfwood. <laughs> I'm Jeff Nimoy. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, one woman actually uh, wrote me. She was from Dallas and she wrote me and uh, said, uh, my husband and I have a mm-hmm. list, you know, the hall pass, the hall pass, the hall pass. And... Uh, Wolfwood's on the list. I'm like, 
good luck with that. Yeah, and and she character. was like, no, but I figured out a way how I can have sex with Wolfwood. Oh. I'll blindfold myself oh. and you just talk like Wolfwood and we'll have sex. I'm like, that oh. is ridiculous. Send me a picture. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's the clip. That's it. That's, That's it. the clip. That's the clip. That's the clip. <laughs> Oh, that's the cold <laughs> open. I love it. There it is. <laughs> I mean, that's a, yeah, that, that's, that's a, probably that's about as far as that's, the hall pass will go. I turned yeah. her down. It, yeah. I'm yes. saying it's yes. probably the, the, the smoky voice, yeah. which again, you never smoked. I never smoked, but that's a story that I uh, also tell that when I auditioned for Trigun, I auditioned for Vash the Stampede. Mm -hmm. In the episode, crazy enough, where Vash tells Wolfwood his full name. The long blah, blah, blah name. I, can't, yeah. I don't remember it. It's so long. It was a mouthful for an audition as well. And uh, and when it was over, the, the, the representative from Japan uh, said to me, and I think broken English, I can't remember now, but he was like, do you, do you smoke? Mm -hmm. And I, I said, no, because you sound like you smoke. Oh. I was like, no, it's just my voice. And he was like, because we have a character that smokes, and you're perfect for that. Oh. So we'll start in two months. You'll be Wolfwood. Ooh. So I never wow. auditioned. Neither, not only did I n never audition for Wolfwood, but nobody auditioned for Wolfwood. Because yeah. they, were, they were still they in the process had, of that. They hadn't even got there he, he never even started Wolfwood auditions. That's wow. Amazing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then you get That's all these smokers coming. It's like, I smoke. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got it. This is like the healthy <laughs> way to do it. Leave us alone. No, um, I mean, just to kind of stay uh, kind of in the outline of our show. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, talk a little bit about... Um, Initial reactions of oh of, of, of it. Of I mean, that was I kind of did mine already, but it was it was like one of these shows that it, it's very unique in the sense that it it deals with uh, at least it's one of the early ones I can remember. I was really into shows that that dealt with morality in that sense, and like because the other show that got me uh, really into anime was Kenshin, um, both about people who don't kill uh, or have moral issues with it, um, and I think this show along with Kenshin was was one of the shows that. I felt wasn't talking down to me uh, of the shows I watched um, and doing things like killing off a character that that in such a in such a beautifully tragic way because he finally does the thing that you know Vash pushes him to do and it, mm -hmm. it backfires in a sense <clears throat> um, but it, it it just like it, it really opened doors for me this show so it, it was a uh, it's still on my list of like when I find someone like Josh who's not on anime. I was like, <laughs> this is on the list. This is the one you got to watch. So. I mean, I, I said it before uh, you got here, Je uh, Jeff, but it was like, this is part of the trifecta of the space westerns with Cowboy Bebop and Outlaw Star. Mm -hmm. And I even took it to the internet and I was like, everyone listening and watching, <laughs> shut up about Firefly <laughs> needing to be a reboot. We need to do Trigun as a live action. Yeah. And Jeff, if you don't direct an episode, I well, riot. Well, this goes into now another bittersweet part of my mm. career with Trigun. Uh, so they were going to do the prequel oh. called oh. Badlands Rumble. Oh. And now it went from the the company that originally did it. Sunrise, and, right? Was it Sunrise? No, that was not what it was called. It okay. was called a couple of things. Okay. <laughs> I don't know which is Media 8 and one was, it was had yeah. another name. I can't remember But it exactly. switched from the original to another. To um, Funimation, Funimation bought the rights mm. to yeah. do the oh, movie. Wow. And they're in Dallas. And uh, Dorothy Fawn really should be here for this story. Mm -hmm. And Johnny Youngbush, they were all part of the story. Um, Next time. <laughs> yeah, bring, bring them all in. I tried to get Dorothy in for this. Uh, She's confirmed for later. When I did rewatch uh, 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 Trigun, I did text her and I'm like, you are phenomenal in this show. <laughs> she was like, so are you, Trigun rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it does. That That's really cool. does. That's really fun when you get to just enjoy things. Like, man, we yeah. got something really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, so now they call us and they're like, we're doing a movie and we want you to be in it. And they offered us like less than half of the money oh. that we did 20 years ago for a straight Whoa. to video series. And this is going to be a, a theatrical oh, yeah. release. So I said to them, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll do it for free if you let me write and direct. That's, oh, that's, dang. That's, that's I said, I would, I was always. A little, while being an actor, it's hard when you're a director as well to be act, acting and not think, what would I do with this? Right, as a director? sure. And I was always a little like, I would love to get my hands on this series. You know, I really, it's really, you know, cool, I did know it was good at the time. It's a cool tapestry. Yeah. 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 You know, and, you're reading the lines, you're like, oh, this is going to be a prequel story. Yeah. And uh, 
they turned me down flat. They said, we have our own directors and our own writers. Thank you anyway. And uh, they were like, well, you know, come to Dallas. And they said, it's the strangest question they ever, I've ever been asked. How much work do you need to make it worth your while? And I was like, what are you talking about? What are you trying like, to say? Well, we only pay, I think it was $50 an hour. We only pay $50 an hour. And I know people out there are going, well, I would have done it for $50 an hour. But, you know. As I a would, voiceover artist, I'm like. It's not yeah. a lot. It's not a lot. <laughs> and no. I would have had to fly myself to Dallas mm -hmm. put and stay, up. put myself up in Dallas. And they said, but we've got tons of anime. So you could do your eight hours of Trigun, the movie, and then uh, we'll give you enough work so you have enough money to go. I'm like, I'd have to work for three weeks just to break even on food, Hotel, lodging, yeah. and everything. I'm like- Sounds like a grift. Yeah. yeah. I said, you want <laughs> like, how about you do more? Right. For the same amount said, of money you, you should be getting. You want to pay me with more work? <laughs> yeah. I, it just made no sense. And I said, wow. no. But if you come to LA or do a phone patch, ISDN, whatever, I will do it for $50 an hour. And they said, no. Yeah. And they turned Johnny, myself, and Dorothy down, who were negotiating as a threesome. Yeah. Oh. We, I thought we were being very generous. Sure. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and when it was over and filmed, I guess they got cold feet and said, we can't do this without Johnny Young Bosch. Mm -hmm. The fans will kill us. Yep. But they had no problem doing it without Jeff Nimoy and Dorothy Fung. That's really surprising. Yeah. I know. So, they, so, so what they did was come to LA and Whoa. record Johnny. I'm like. And they didn't hit you up. No, they already were recorded that uh, stuff in Dallas and they were happy with Whoa. it. So Bizarre. It was bizarre. very bittersweet. And of course, I'm left to answer the fan base. Right. You know? Because, right, because you go out and yeah, you Yeah, right. Fan, you know, no one's writing Funimation and saying, where's Jeff Nemo? They're asking Jeff Nemo, why weren't you in it? And I'm like, don't ask me. Ask Funimation. I tried. Yeah, I tried my best. <laughs> so that's a, also bittersweet, you know? Sure. You don't want someone playing... If you're Henry Winkler, you don't want someone else playing the Fonz. Right. Mm. Yeah. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. That is pretty bittersweet. Yeah. So going back and watching it this time around, what in, I guess what inspired you to, to, to dip back in? Um... I had never seen an episode after Wolfwoods. Whoa. And so you want to see where it results? I want to see, yeah, what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and? And I loved it. Good, you know? good, cool. I loved the whole thing. And I also want to see if everyone else got their upcomings, you know? And yeah. If knives got, you know, knifed or anything. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with Millie? You left her. You rude. Kaylin. Yeah. What were, your, what were your impressions and initial reactions? I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as Tom and Corey. I watched it on on uh, the widely available network. And um, <laughs> yeah, I, I liked that uh, Vash was a pacifist and I loved all the twists of the characters. Wolfwood's twist was like, <gasps> he's a gong ho gong. How dare you? <laughs> but also it's it like, you know, you, you love everyone even though you don't love everyone at the sure. same time. Yeah. So it's, I, it's, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a great show where, and also like the ladies in it aren't like, Dumb and useless. Yes, which is heat. really nice. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of times they're great. They're even, so good. Because <laughs> even in like, um, like Kenshin, mm -hmm. I feel like Kaoru was to an extent. Yeah, yeah. she's like she's strong. She has her and moments, she's, and she she has moments, but she's like meh. And then there's Millie and With Meryl, big and down. they're just like, oh, we'll murder you. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. just great. You don't want to do that. You, you don't, don't want to mess really with us. You really don't want, and they have their own like little nicknames. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stun Gun Millie. When she, and... when she pulls out that giant like Gatling <sighs> that, type mm -hmm. gun. Like, oh my gosh. Like, Ooh. Accidentally <laughs> drops it in the first episode. Ooh. Whoopsie. <laughs> when she just wants her pudding. Like oh. just like, oh my goodness. I will say, I, will say, I mean, uh, apparently in the manga, there's so much more story. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Wolfwood, his they call him Chapel. Like that's his gung ho gung name. Hmm. But he took that name off the original Chapel. Mm -hmm. And there's like this backstory with that. And the Chapel that we see, like the the guy with the other two big crossed guns, Chapel Man, um, <laughs> is not a real character. There's a different one. So all I was gonna say, like there's a an anime called Full Metal Alchemist, and then they did a one, and they did a Brotherhood. I feel like I'm putting out in the universe, <laughs> manifesting um, that if Trigun's kind of primed to have their own like redo. And it's a longer form version Jeff's like, that Ooh. follows everything. Because they actually talk about it, Vash and Knives are plants. Mm -hmm. They're humanoid independent plants. And then we see some of these plant creatures. And in that whole flashback where we see Rem, you see other independent plants like them. One mm -hmm. girl's name is Tesla. And I was like, we 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 we, 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 we drive those. We, we have so much. Oh. We have <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That's not where I saw that going. I have an idea. Uh -huh. 
I but have like, an idea. But there's like so much more Trigun to be done, and we, sure. you know, everyone's still here. What if the plant lady's name is Tesla? Why don't we get Elon Musk to <laughs> no, make it? No, 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 do a new version of it, but yeah. in my version, Wolfwood doesn't die to the last episode. <laughs> hey, that'd be cool. I mean, as, as like this martyr, and if you yeah. does he have to die? Could it go on to no, many he's seasons? Gotta die. He's got to die. <laughs> the, le the lesson's there, but we'll show consequence. Let it, let you know? it kill the cat. Uh, I do want to hear, Josh. You're the you're the one who just started watching this, correct? Yeah, I right. finished it. And, I want to uh, hear your. Experience. I did my homework. Yeah. Good. Uh, what was it like? Your well, job? I finished it a while ago. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. it's always interesting. Um, just like hearing yourself on something, hearing somebody you know on something, you're like, they don't sound Go through it. No, they do. I'll say watching it this time around was pretty cool. After because now you yeah, know me. Right? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty um, cool. I get this a lot of conventions. God, you sound just like Wolfwood. I'm yeah, like, yeah, crazy. Yeah, well, and that was weird. the other thing I loved about playing Wolfwood at the time. I was playing Tentomon mm -hmm. and all these other Digimon characters, and Wolfwood was me. I didn't have to yeah. put on any affectation of my voice. It was so easy. That's a good word. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, it, I mean, it, it really did stem from these guys being so excited about it. Mm -hmm. And we have done a Cowboy Bebop episode. We have done an Outlaw Star episode. And I have, uh, even being an anime noob, I, I did hear of like kind of the quote trifecta. Mm -hmm. And this was a part of it. And it was like, it's, it's one of those like, I have to hold on. I held off because I needed it to be where Jeff was going to be here to talk about it. Like, in all yeah, honesty, like, I was like, excited, you got to yeah. get the rose petals on the ground. The yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> can we dim the lights? And when Jeff shows up. <laughs> Alexa, dim the lights. Light the candles. Um, like very white. He's going to whisper to me. No. Um, Hello, needle nose. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> fulfilling some dreams right now. That's what oh you're doing. Oh, my God. Someone's um, going to clip Someone's like blindfold. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of like a... Honestly, it's kind of like watching Famous for the first time in a yeah. theater. Oh, You're like, right. you get now I get to experience, get to experience it. it. Now I know this right. thing that's always referenced and my friend's famous for it and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, now I'm, okay, whew, I'm experiencing <laughs> it. And it really, it was a lot of fun. Like it, it yeah. you, they always, one of my first animes was My Hero Academia. And Tom's always like, you gotta watch where everything came from. Yeah, it stands <laughs> he, he on the shoulders. He got stick before he had like a beef patty. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> so watching watching something like Trigun, it's it's wonderful. Yeah, like it's just wonderful. The, the soundtrack, three. the soundtrack yeah, was just drawn, amazing. Electric guitar, yeah, like, oh, yeah. The stingers. Yeah, I, I mean, I grew up on on westerns and James Bond, and so the western part of me was like, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah, Hell I'm a yeah. big Western fan too. It was really, it's really well done. And I, yeah, it has those like episodes of the you know, the first six episodes before we get to Wolfwood. Yeah, um, where it's like it, you get like okay, this character is the drunk because they they made all these weapons and all the weapons turned on it. And, like each episode, and then how Vash is the flat art character who just does good in every town he's in, and then he has his own redemption story which he shouldn't have to answer to. So it's like this is, you know, in its DNA, one of the greatest. Like uh, uh, westerns in the world, and then once Wolf is going to be like, okay, now we're actually going to follow a character. They're going to develop. They're going to be a reoccurring guests, and then all of a sudden, once Legato shows up, it's like, okay, yeah, now yeah, it's an anime. Right, yeah, it now, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was also very it's drawn. Like, oh shit! Yeah. I mean, Corey already kind of mentioned this uh, pre-show of like Vash. Vash is like my kind of character. Yeah. I am a pacifist, pacifist by nature. No I, he's a pacifist, man. Called Very it. fragile. Yeah. Um, he, yeah. It's. I love that <laughs> idea of just because you're deadly doesn't mean you have to kill. Yeah. yeah. And I. I like that idea, and I, I think that it's something to. I just think it's really cool. So having such a deadly character, especially when you find out towards the end of just how deadly Vash is or mm -hmm. can be, it's just so Enjoy interesting him. to see him to get, and those like silly moments where you do get those. Those almost memeish moments of the, the <laughs> yeah, it is a show that goes from being like really heavy and dramatic, like again dealing with the morality and stuff like that, and then and a to like a flies. spring and like a, a funny black noise and from the sky moments. on someone's face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a um, quick Johnny Bosch story. Yeah, mm. uh, so uh, Ichigo. Johnny and I, uh, I occasionally uh, we'd have to go up to Valencia to record Digimon, mm. and that's where they did Power Rangers, mm. uh, which he was on. Adam. Yeah, yeah. The season three, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, which season, one. It was started with Turbo. Yeah. So, uh, no, so no. he was Mighty Morphin. He was oh, the second. Morphin? He was, he was the second season. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, wow. Yeah. So second. anyway, we'd run into each other and stuff, uh, but we never knew each other. You know, 
Um, we never said hello or anything. Just we Because you didn't record together, correct? No. No, we only did it one at a time uh, for Trigun, one, one actor at a time. So fast forward to 15 years later, maybe, um, I'm mm -hmm. directing Bleach. Oh, and, Ichigo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bonkai life. And uh, Johnny comes in for his first session, and uh, I introduced, I said, Vash the Stampede, meet Nicholas T. Wolfwood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we had never met. And oh, wow. uh, it was crazy wow. until I directed him in Bleach. Wow. wow. You guys Literally have a pic, then, right? A picture? You guys have a picture, please? Together? Please? No. Uh, oh, I don't <laughs> know. We might from a convention. Honestly, that's really we've been that's talking insane. about we've been talking about doing a Trigon panel together for years. We went we did a, a only one convention together in Detroit. Wow. And we filmed a little stuff for my at the time uh, web series, but we never did a panel together. Whoa. But we've been talking about it for years. Maybe well it'll yeah. happen one day. That's and you so need strange. hosts for that panel. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so weird. It out there. Oh. Actually, we'll do we do it for free, but we get to write and direct. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, I have to ask just because I want to know a little bit of like the 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 intimate behind the scenes. So when they yeah. had you come back in for the eleven hours, right. do, what do you remember? At the eleventh hour, <laughs> what do you remember? What episode that came on? And because I, I feel like I was like, is this when Jeff started like getting like I, I'm over? It was it was an episode with the plant, and then you were t I, the, I, the character was telling them like. You guys have to accept the fact that you guys are going to come live on this. Earth. I think we were in the spaceship at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think that's when it was. Wow. I think, uh, From you that know. Point on. Right. Um, when they're fighting everyone in the corridor. Because mm -hmm. I was like, there was an intensity that started happening. I was like, is this the episode? That's when I started like? getting angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, what time works. is it right it now works. for him? The, the character. It's 12 36 a.m. Because I'm talking about meth. Everyone's acting. blaming the death on Wolfwood's character. Yeah. And then, uh, I was just like, I think this is it. I think this is the moment where like, it's like, it's 11 8 p.m. And it's like, it's all until next exam. Oh, you nailed it, man. I had a you feeling. I had a feeling. Well, and I'm yeah, sure. it actually works perfectly for the whole arc at that point it because does. he's getting more and more frustrated about everything. everything he's, right. he's also does bad it, at Vash. Was yeah. the crying real with oh, yeah. Millie? Yeah, it was. <laughs> You're like, you've seen Famish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can cry on a dime. No, yeah. I know that. I just mean like, there's there's real crying and acting, and then there's real crying because it's so fucking late and I'm tired. No, no, it's acting. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, yeah, someone in the in a crowd yeah. once asked me, "Was it really hard?" I'm like, "It wasn't that hard. I'm sorry. I know you want no, me to say something. Jeff, it was hard to stay up. Uh, I know you wanted me to say something. I tortured myself. I remembered when my grandfather passed away. No, it, it's acting. No, I no, no. To go home. I wanted to stay. There's, there's no question in my mind if you're a good actor or not. I just Thank didn't you. know if the frustration had built up enough where. The tears were oh. no longer like. <laughs> no, I mean, I've never slipped over into real life. <laughs> Professionalism. I've never, yeah, yeah. I've never rode that line. No. That's good. That's uh, good. I'm not a method actor. I'm a Stella Adler, so I need a prop and a costume. Yep. Okay. <laughs> mm, just yep. came together right there. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I love it. <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> this type of actor. I'm so old. I, I actually taught. studied with Stella Adler. Whoa. That's how old I am. So cool. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so I, I got a quick question about this. Yeah. While recording it, I mean, obviously up until that that night, uh, did you did you have an inkling of the kind of impact this character would have, or was it just kind of like no, again out of sight? I didn't think mind. anyone would ever see it. It was straight to home video. We didn't have. Cable. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, like, oh, this is a cool character, but yeah, what it is what it is. My first time ever watching it, I rented a DVD from the library. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, it was before right. Adult Swim was even That's where thing. I went. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, what's this? Tr Trigon? <laughs> and then I was like, let me put it in. And I was like, okay, now I got to follow on. So yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. curious about the timeline because I know that it was released 1998 in Japan. When yeah. was your so, dubbing recorded? Right. Uh, so... Digimon the movie came out in October of 2000, so I want to say the the summer of 2000 was this particular. Okay, so this actually this tees up perfectly. So yeah. I know that it started ago. airing in 2003, 2004, and that's when the explosion. Trigun yeah. explosion right. yeah. came. Up. How yeah. was that? Because I mean, it was a. F my understanding is, is well, it was a flop in Japan, mm -hmm. and then hits Cartoon. What was it? Network. Yeah, yeah. Network. 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 and yeah. just yeah blows up yeah. like how is experiencing that well again i didn't even know people ha were able to watch it until 2008 when i did wow. my first convention so it was oh. already four years into the mainstream of people you were just living your life it yeah. was, it was life. deep in the consciousness yeah, it, it, it was already a lot of people like our age our foundation and mm -hmm. so knowing like oh jeff was gonna be, he was the thing. why why isn't he done anything so, sooner and yeah, so yeah. that's yeah. that's why like, right. right yeah 
Yeah, that's because strange yeah. that gap of time. Or like 2007, that. around there. That's when the first convention. Yeah, because around that time, I think. I think like the Naruto and the Full Metal Alchemist and all that stuff. And so when we're hearing about these like classics, I like, think yeah. you know, it was kind of like the first wave of like the millennial nostalgia of like, oh, sure. these old animes. And it's like, you mean anime? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm thinking it might be 2006. I'm not sure. Somewhere around. Time is a construct. Mid, mid 2000s. Time is a construct. <laughs> <laughs> At least maybe 20 years ago. Yeah, twenty mm. to fifty. Oh, Oof, God, right. <laughs> so Oof, now, dang. since then, but we recorded this in in uh, ninety nine two thousand. Okay. Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, right. Go ahead. I, I was gonna I was gonna make a random random question because about the Digimon movie. Mm -hmm. Um, it's uh the this version that you directed, um, is uh like a combination of three other Japanese the three Japanese films Correct. in Japan that were like shorter. Yeah. Uh. What was the the process for that, or what was the idea behind that? Because, well, yeah, I'll give you a, a Reader's Digest version, but Please. if you want to read, I have a blog out there, just jeffnimoy.com, mm -hmm. and you can read my blog about uh, Digimon the movie and the making of, and I tell some stories about the third episode of, I mean, the third movie that we had to do where we go into Haim Saban's office, and I wanted to lose it altogether, the third movie. As like it doesn't make sense. It's not as good as the a first time two. Jump, yeah. yeah, and I don't want to introduce eight new characters with twenty minutes left to go in the movie. Yeah. And uh, the wow. lawyers pretty much said, "Well, we're we're contracted to use oh, some wow. portion Whoa. of it." So I was forced to tie three movies together. So Saban kind of like blockbustered them together, where they were like these right three Saban, films, and now they were like now you have to do it all in one movie. Correct. Saban wow. licensed them from as part of their deal with Toy mm -hmm. Entertainment, uh, Toy uh, Animation, uh, and they could have uh, Fox Kids could have done anything where they wanted with it. They could have aired three different movies, but they wanted a theatrical release. Pokemon the movie had come out the year before; it was huge, made like three hundred million dollars, which is huge for an anime. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. and. <laughs> That's what I thought Digimon was going to do as well. <laughs> Digimon the movie. It didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, it didn't. Newsflash. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a tough thing, right? Like the, the you know, comparison is Thief, but it's like Digimon, Pokemon. But uh, like, it's it, a reason I asked that is because I've watched a bunch of different YouTubers who do like deep dive Digimon stuff. Not a lot of people know this information. Yeah. And so I was like, how does not anyone know like why they combined these three films together? Right. And I've seen the other Japanese films like later on where they do like Omega Mon X and Yudrasil and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've watched the Japanese and I was like, but they didn't combine those films. So why yeah. was this one? But I like I remember just the same amount of fervor as like going to Pokemon game, those little cards that you got with Digimon and like I forget the little cartoon they have before with the uh, Angela and the Condo. Yeah, with the, yeah. the cartoon faces. They were really pushing that. I smell a future episode. <laughs> no, yeah. I, mean, I mean, whatever. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, Digimon no. the movie is even more bittersweet than Try Guy oh. for me. And there's a whole episode just on this movie. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But, but we're, it, we'll it, have to bring you in for the Digimon. <laughs> He's like, for Digimon. No. Not the man, show. but Digimon the first season. But I mean, yeah. the, the making go. of this movie was very difficult because I wanted. Mm, Basically, because in my director's cut, I didn't. I left that last part out altogether, mm. and uh, it 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 just didn't make sense to me. So their big thing also was it's got to be eighty something minutes for uh, oh. our theatrical release, mm. and I came in at like seventy eight minutes, and. I didn't know they were going to put a 20 minute Angela Anaconda trailer on before. <laughs> and I'm like, that, that's 20 minutes. That's that's hey man. over 80 minutes right yeah. there. I you could have used my cut. But... Wait, wait, time out. <laughs> time out. I, you see me sometimes on the internet. I know yeah. you may not be on it as much as I am. Are you telling me I have to hashtag release the Nimoy cut? Yeah. Are you telling me I have to do that? They don't have it. It doesn't exist. Fox Kids doesn't exist. I can cut it. <laughs> and then I'll put your name on there. And say, so it'll be Jeff Nimoy's The I, Digimon. Tom and I will get in the editing bay. We'll make it happen. I'm telling you. <laughs> because, I, like, so people who haven't watched it, it does, the way you say it, the way you pitch it yeah. just right now, it does make sense because it is two stories and it has a time jump. But it it, right. it, it, and, it bookends at a point where it's like, yeah, it's about these kids and Highview Terrace. And then all these kids right. now in the entire world see the events. Right. And here's the other thing. I had Ty narrating, but Ty's not in the third part. Because mm -hmm, so it's I, Davis. Right. So I had to have Kari, who's in all three yeah. parts. I had to have Kari. Because she's the, the thread. Right. She's the common thread between all of Which, I, you know, I didn't want it, but whatever. 
It worked. I mean, I will say this as a band aid in order for you to put that in there. That's a smart move to have her. Like it. So I, look, I, I, look, I'm so I'm just glad. <laughs> Twenty years later, people are still talking about Digimon the movie. No director <laughs> very, can complain very very about yeah. you know, all you want to do as a filmmaker is make a movie that will have staying power and yeah. that people will talk about it and keep going back to watch and. Digimon the movie, I hope Famish has the kind of staying power Digimon the movie has. I, I watched that multiple times Thanks. during <laughs> last year because Same, one, it came out yeah. last year. Right. And then two, oh, yeah. I had to have my roommate watch it immediately <laughs> because I was like, dude, <laughs> shut up. This is going to make you feel good. Yeah. And yeah. Like, you're going to be at your worst and this will yeah. bring you out. And you you know mentioned that with like, I made this long blog post and all stuff because like I was at a really low point when I watched that movie. And right after that, I was like, I'm not in a low point anymore. It was yeah. like it's it's really good, and I like, got some family members in on it. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. was. It, it's, it's. I a, loved your uh, when we watched it here and did a, a mm. podcast right after. I loved your whole reactions. Why I kept coming back to you because I was sitting over there and you were there. I kept I was, looking back at you. I was in it, man. I was so <laughs> in it. It was. It was just. It's like you know. There's those. There's things you watch with friends and you're like talking and. But I was just like, there's nothing else happening right now. I'm watching this movie. Uh, it's wonderful. Like to, Tom said, like it's 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 almost impossible to feel in a bad mood after afterwards. And it's it's just this. I don't know. It's a it's a big heart. I love. It's, a, it's got a big heart. And I mean, I know this is not the famous episode, but I just love that it's like it's really quickly written and like we're in and out of scenes really quickly, but also like. It's it's about something more than just like guy goes to a convention. It's, like, it's about that journey as a character. Yeah. When you started watching it, and like it's the human condition. Yeah. yeah, and it's really expressing that you know experience. And I was just like, yeah. But yeah. anyways, Tom's, Tom's, yeah. Tom's hey, we can talk about real yeah. hard right now. We can talk about famous all day. It, yeah, yeah, right. It's, uh, it's utter it's utter reverence. I, we can I, almost I, do I, an I, episode I on it. it. We did do an episode oh, on it. I think we, we did too. Good. Yeah. yeah, we did a pre-release and, and a post-release. Post -release. Yeah, <laughs> Whoa. Um, yeah. I, I mean, real quick because it has—it's been over a year since you were on the show. When that, right. like that release, we had you on. Um, what's been kind of the the post life? So because I mean, yeah, fourteen. Well, <laughs> well, well here's, here's the issues with Famish and Hollywood. Uh, you know, because of the pandemic. The streaming services were not doing any independent films because mm. they needed to do the A-list movies. Right. You know, all these big releases, uh, you know, superhero movies even, you know. Shout out to James Bond. Yeah, Still right. trying to figure it out when to <laughs> <laughs> So they're all, you know, being bought up by the Netflixes, the Prime videos, the HBO Maxes of the world. And um, so they're not even looking at Famous right now. And in terms of uh, pay-per-view... It's done well, but I think all my fans have seen it at this point. I mean, you know, maybe Lex Lang still has some fans that need to see it. Yeah. Brian Donovan maybe can push it a little harder. <laughs> like, look at it, but you, who's Brian anything? Donovan. <laughs> Brian. Brian's got his own movie to deal with that he wrote oh. and directed. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm kidding. I love Brian. He's my brother. Yeah. Uh, so, and there have been no conventions to go and promote it, promote it and right. to show it. For free, so people will then go tell their family members and roommates, Friends, that, and yeah. you got to buy this. Yeah. So it, it's sort of in a holding pattern until we can get back into conventions. Where but you I'm, can get it in front of people. Right. But I'm not too worried because I think it's got some legs. I think it it's not of its time. You know, I think it will have some staying power. Yeah. And, and It's not I, time sensitive. Right. It, it, I mean, it, the I, hand sanitizer yeah. bit will be forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially now post COVID, oh, yeah. I look like I'm not even a germaphobe. Yeah. <laughs> Where in the no, movie, he's just being smart. Why is it? Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. In the movie, I'm rubbing, you know, uh, uh, what do you hand no, sanitizer? No stuff, right, yeah. but but today the most average person is more of a germaphobe yeah. than this guy. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think uh, it will have some legs once I go to conventions and. Uh, you know, I planned on touring with it for 10, 20 years, so hopefully it'll it'll have the following Digimon the movie has. We'll eventually. open our um, Trigun panel with Famous. It'll be great. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. I'm telling you, Nerd on Film Festival, one of these days, baby. One of these days. <laughs> so, it'll happen. I mean, speaking of cons, I mean, besides, so you, you learn that Nicholas is this big character to people. Mm -hmm. What are other moments for you with with Trigun in mind at conventions that are like, oh wow, this this character has so much effect and I had no idea. Yeah. Besides the well, one here where I told you it changed my trajectory as a storyteller. That's yeah. gonna be up there, right? <laughs> well, there's another group of guys uh, 
uh, that have a podcast that I actually uh, used as like associate producers on the movie. I met them at a convention and uh, they're, they're called Did You Know Anime? Mm. And uh, really a couple of great guys, Michael and Johnny. And shout they, out. Shout out. And Michael Purge, Johnny Lobo. Mm. So um, uh, they did a, 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 a thing at a convention. I did a little voiceover for them of Did You Know? And it's all fun facts about mm. uh, uh, Trigun. And, okay. then, and then they did a panel and all about Trigon, and I just showed up at the panel. And that was great. <laughs> the fans were like, oh my God, Wolfwood just, <laughs> just showed, showed up. up at this, like, you know, they're not that famous. You know, they've got a following, but it's not like they're doing jam packed rooms like right, a Crispin Freeman or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? So, uh, so it was really nice, intimate. I got to answer a lot of questions with the fans. Just, Interacting with fans is just great, you know. Yeah, yeah. some fans, but most fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, no. <laughs> Having human moments. There's it's a like, uh, yeah. reminder. You're like, that's right. That's why I do right. these things. Yeah, stories. There's a story in Famish that uh, it's just like a heartbreaking moment, mm -hmm. and that's that's based on a true it moment, is. correct? Yeah, that was a, at a convention in Orlando. Mm. Um, I don't want to do any spoilers, but uh, a, um, uh, I, I. Uh, he wasn't that young. He was probably in his late twenties, maybe even early thirties. And he brought a photo of his mom, which I used in the movie, and I mm. have on my little desk in my bedroom. Um, and uh, I was like, you know, he was like, "Here it is. I brought you a gift." And he said, "You know, my mom has cancer, and uh, she read that you know you were coming to this convention, and every day while she was getting chemo, we watched Trigun, mm. and." Uh, and then um, she said, I am going to get well enough to go to that convention with you and meet Jeff Nimoy. Mm -hmm. And he brought me this picture. And I said, oh, she's still too sick to come. And he's like, no, she passed away last oh. week. And oh. uh, it was a very emotional moment, you know. That's a moment where the emotion, yeah. <laughs> right, that, yeah. that was real emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, we, I'm fine. fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah right. We, were, we, you know, hugged and I said, I cherish it. I did not know at that point I'd put it in a movie mm. or build a, right. a little storyline around it. But it became it. a real thing. The most personal things become creative. Yeah, exactly. Right. So... That was that moment. Yeah. yeah, I just I know that every time I mix it, it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And Josh has probably seen it more times than anyone in two second, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burst, you know? yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know, it's the the dialogue is pieces king. at a time, <laughs> and uh, that's we talk about we talk uh, behind the scenes of like there's a few scenes where like noise reduction was very important, like mm -hmm. fans are in it, and it's just like because some of the dialogue in Famish. It's just you you don't miss it. Yeah. Like yeah. don't and miss it. And we this. filmed at a live convention. Yeah. So there's a lot of e e noise everywhere. External, yeah. external yeah. noise. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a beautiful movie that it's it's one of the those things that I've done in my in my repertoire, in my in my <laughs> life. You. Is that it's just I can't <laughs> recommend it enough. Like, That's watch great. it. Thank watch you. the thing. I appreciate it. No, I'm I'm confident that Famous will have the same staying power. And I would say in the same way, just because of someone like me who's a Big fucking nerd. Um, <laughs> my first ever article that I wrote for Nerd On, because we used to do articles, was why Digimon is better than Pokemon. That's fantastic. Um, and it was because things end and they have, like, I don't know, they actually have development as characters. Um, what do but you mean? Ash Kashem's been, he's been he's, for 20 years. No, he's actually 12. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. You don't understand this. After his 10th anniversary, he became 11. Yeah. Um, oh. Ty's like 40 now. Yeah, he is. And yet they all become adults and they all like, go with their careers. So try again. And, I don't know. <laughs> but I was going to say, it's been fun because uh, other Famous. podcasts I've talked to have been like, oh, like Tom's actually talked to Jeff Nimoy. So I'm like, all the podcast people want you. I'm just saying. Uh -oh. so, yeah. <laughs> so I would have worn my good bad real. Wants you again. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Also, if you need any more uh, reason to go watch Famish than everything we've said here at this table. And try gun. And try gun. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I was gonna tie it back to it. I was like, he's dressed up as Wolfen in the movie. So, in the movie, so, I cosplay so it's, as Wolfen. You get the best yeah. of both worlds. I'm and that's saying. the thing about uh, voice actors that go to conventions, it's sort of looked down upon to Cosplay mm. as, as yourself. Right. Not yeah. so much anymore. Not anymore, so, but at know. the time it was. And uh, Thanks, and, Daniel Radcliffe. And, and I always thought, like, if I did cosplay, who would I cosplay as? Wolfwood. So when it came time to write Famish, I was like, this this makes perfect sense. I'm mm. going to cosplay yeah. as Wolfwood. <laughs> the prop is so fun. Yeah. Too. The prop is just really is. Wolfwood, crazy. I, I was 
of course, doing research for this because I want to be prepped. That cross that he carries around yeah. is, supposedly is supposed to weigh like 230 pounds. Yeah. He's yeah. buff, though. He's, he's strong, he's, Yeah, they, buff he's AF. no joke. the character man. after Jet. Can't you, can't yeah. you tell? <laughs> can't you tell, yeah, man? <laughs> Cooking uh, Caveman. Can't you tell? Paleo. I'm by guns. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, that was it. That the that the was prequel, wonderful. by gun. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. Thank you, everyone. Go home. Awesome. Showstopper. Well, Jeff, do you have anything? So when cons come... You're going to get famous out there. Well, last year, we were hoping Comic-Con would happen, and I had a commitment from them to show Ooh. famous at Comic-Con, mm -hmm. That's... and then a pandemic hit. Right. Oh. And thing. so this year, we were hoping it was going to happen, and they still wanted to postpone it. They, they're they going to do a mini in November, mm. right, before or after Thanksgiving or that weekend. Uh, they asked me, they said they don't know if they're going to do films for this mini, if they did, would I be interested? I said, yes, as long as I'm also ne at next summer, you know? Yeah, July. as long as this isn't uh, a yeah, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and or, you know, yeah. I, I, because I want this at Comic-Con. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, uh, I can't wait for it to be the con premiere, maybe, oh. you know, oh. July of 2022. Oh, nice. That'd be great. Nice. Hopefully we'll be there yeah. for it. That would, would be great. I would love to come see it. Yeah. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is probably rent a suite and anyone involved in, in Famish, yeah, Josh can mm -hmm. just come and crash on the floor, crash wherever, you know. So you're all welcome to crash. Oh, <laughs> it's recorded. <laughs> or, are we going to be those guys in the corner? It's like they don't know. Uh, we know <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. We were in the front lines. 100%. That's going to be <laughs> well. I'm it. looking forward to it, man. I think it's going to be fantastic. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it too. Uh, you know, Comic Con's one of those things. I remember when I was doing Digimon. Uh, I think it was Laura Summer might have said uh, to me. She plays Palamon, for those of you who don't know. <gasps> she, uh, she, she's a really good friend of mine. She said, we're doing this thing in San Diego. <laughs> it's kind of this little thing. And I'm like, well, who else is going to be on the panel? And she said a bunch of people. I'm like, I don't think oh. so. I, I don't want to waste my time. Drive <laughs> oh. all the way down to San Diego. And, you know, cut to 10 years later, it was the biggest thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, grew up in, I grew up in San Diego, and it was interesting to see, like, a Explode. little and then... Yeah, everything in San Diego is Comic Con. <laughs> and like you're like, yeah. all right, all right, this right, is the right. thing. Absolutely. So, so I have done Comic Con in the past. It's uh, you know, from an actor standpoint, it's a bit of a pain in the ass because it's so huge. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And there's so much variety. It's chaotic. And yeah. you know, walk half a mile to another building. For yeah. Another and why does someone want to meet Jeff Nimoy when they can meet the drummer of the Go Go's? You know, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Who I sat next to at one one of oh, these uh, so autograph stuff. <laughs> and Lori Petty was here, and the Bionic Woman was over there, and you know, it was kind of crazy. You know, there's so, so much. There's little surreal, so much. little right. When I go to an anime convention, I'm Paul McCartney. Yeah. Right. I mean? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah. I'm just one of a thousand guests. Yeah. So uh, but for Famish, I'm really looking forward to it. So book your trips now. Yep. You heard it here. Yeah, we got <laughs> quick. Last time Josh and I got un were unprepared. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, we need to show this. Oh, on, yeah. Uh, yeah, before we uh, before we Speaking go out of here. Jeff Nimoy cosplaying as Wolfwood in Famish. Yeah. So it's going on the wall. We, we we couldn't figure out like why we hadn't have this happen. <laughs> yet. Yeah. What is this, Josh? This is a picture of Jeff Nimoy uh cosplaying as Nicholas D. Wolfwood and he signed it to Nerd On. I'm going to get this framed and put it up on our walls. That's going to go in the spot. We've been yeah. trying to figure out what's oh, going right to go on. there. So oh, it'll yeah. be on yeah. almost all of our episodes. Yep. It says, uh, thrilled to be a part of your history. Aww. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Uh, for those who have joined us later on in our episodes, uh, Jeff was our first guest yep. ever. And, and our yeah. most frequent guest. Exactly. And our, yeah. this is the Let's fourth keep it that time way. Yeah. If anyone starts getting close, call me we'll up. We'll let you I know. Want, I want to I keep mean, the record in time. You know they have that like five host club at SNL. We'll exactly. make sure we get yeah. you yeah. in there. You could just do each Digimon episode as an episode. Yeah. There you go. I mean, Jonathan Frakes has two. So you uh, still, you're still, you're still good. Yeah. You're still good. Yeah, you're still good. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I've, I've, I'm curious because we didn't actually get around to it. What, mm. what are your like... Since you've now seen the entire Trigun, right? Mm. What are your favorite parts? Mm. Well, of course, Wolfwood. Well, of course, Wolfwood. <laughs> Aside from funny, Wolfwood we have the same answer. Being uh, crazy. Magnificent. I'll tell you, my favorite episode is the episode of the shootout, the shooting contest. And, oh yeah, and oh, they yeah. sign up me and Vash, me Wolfwood, yeah. and Vash the same. Then we wind up having to, you know, battle Fight. each other. I just love the little back and forth between Johnny and I. I can't remember who recorded first what episode, but. 
it was always an advantage to go second. Yeah, you see what because you can act off of someone else, you know, yeah, acting yeah. is reacting. Right. And uh, so it was always advantageous, uh, but I don't remember it for that particular episode. But just a little back and forth and, you know. The friendly rivalry. Yeah, the yeah. laughing. <laughs> 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 that, you know. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I never realized how funny the show was. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, it's hilarious. So that's what stood out for me. No, yeah. I love that. Because the way that they do the like over exaggerated faces right, yeah. and he does like noodle body yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And like also it's like someone comes crashing and Wolf was like, I'm not done eating it. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> it, it has that kind of like pal got that dry biff, wit. but right, with, right, with right, like right. the faces. Well, mm-hmm. praise the Lord when he comes back yep. and he's cooking and all that. And that cat, of course. The yes. Oh my god, the cat. <laughs> I love that cat. Quarter yeah. Just oh, comes in and out. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I was just thinking about it. I was like, yeah, like oh, I, I it's still in my head. It's still in my head cam. I'm just like, so a longer trigon, and then we just get the same cast, come back. Yep. And then also hashtag. I don't Lisa know if Leah, Leah Sargent will do it again. No? Maybe not. I'm, I think she might be done with acting or non union. Well, that's where, oh, that's, oh, I see, that's where I see. you come in. Well, you got to bring her in. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of. She's one of the people that called I'm me cool, and said, why are you cool. abandoning Digimon? A lot I of mean, anime is going union right now. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> just so you know. Bring just it saying. back, Jeff. <laughs> you just broke Jeff. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of really? anime. Are you going in the same circle as I'm in? Let's Shots talk. fired. Shots let's, fired. Uh, let's Guys, talk. Nerd on Show runs it. Yeah. yeah. You buy the rights from Saban, probably. Are we? Yeah. I'll do it for we? free. <laughs> 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 he can write and direct it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll have Jeff write and direct as many episodes he wants. But like, okay, <laughs> we're doing the full vision of the manga. No. Right? Nice. It's called, it's called Try Gun by Guns. I've got you know, Try Gun by Guns. Gun. My next call is to crunch your roll after this to say, can you buy the rights to Try Gun? Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh yeah. man. We'll start the hashtag. I'm telling Tom, you. Let's and start then the hashtag. hashtag. Release the Jeff Nimoy cut. Yeah. Look, I'll cut it up and then Joshua Seth, Ty? Yeah. Call him, just be like, hey, can you do, can you do like two, 11 hours? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, just do this narration. Just real All quick. Right. Just real quick. <sighs> Awesome. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so it. much for coming in. It's like always a pleasure to be It is on so that, fun. We don't ever so have fun. to talk you into it. You're just like Okay. Of course. Of course. The first time was a favor to Bonnie. Uh-huh. And then I loved you guys. Oh. Thank you. And uh, you know, um the the Zoom, now I'm remembering. I had the mug, right? The yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Emmy. And too. the Emmy. <laughs> it, was, it was a cup holder. <laughs> yeah. I had them just off camera and kept yeah, bringing it perfect. Oh, this little thing? <laughs> oh. Oh, this? oh, you need it off camera? This, this, yeah? yeah Is yeah, this yeah. out of shot yet? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me when. <laughs> I, I do There's your prop. There's your prop. Yeah, yeah. I do have to share. There was one bit of, like... I, to me, it was a great wisdom that you dropped on that episode because you are talking about, like, every generation has their burden to bear. Yeah. And uh, my mom was like... Like it was like she was a dire straits. Just like I don't know how long I could stand being in, at home. Yeah, and I right. mentioned what she said. Yeah, and she's like, whoever that was was a smart man. I was like, well, thank you. I know, mom. <laughs> well, he he kind of raised me on my true. You know, <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the '40s generation, the greatest generation had to deal with World War II and mm-hmm. so on, and this was ours. You yep. know, yeah. and it, no, there wasn't a single human from age zero to whatever on the planet that wasn't affected by COVID. So. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah, shared experience changed my life. Yeah. To be uh, like, oh, perfectly yeah. honest, yep. changed my life. Um, yeah, that changed. Yeah. <laughs> oh I gotta, god. I gotta let you do this. Julie, <laughs> Julie, get that in slow mo. Slow it down a few frames. I mean, we're only shooting in twenty four, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! I'm or at least get the you know them. little 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 saxophone sound or something. Oh wait, all three of us. We all have long hair. There you oh, go. Yeah. And go hair cam. <laughs> Oh there my it is. All right. Can bring us well, out, Josh. Bring us out. <laughs> well, everybody at home, thank Long you so much care, for watching. Thank you for listening. If you are on your favorite podcast app, uh, if you are watching, thanks for that. Check us out on YouTube, on Twitch. Uh, all of the stuff that I'm yammering on about, all of our housekeeping, you can go to nerdon.tv and all of that information is right there. So do check it out. Do stop by, rate and review if you liked what you hear today. That is how we grow. Do you know what it's reviews? like no, to oh. get a review on any like? of those streaming places? It's pretty impressive. It's like having Jeff Nimoy on your show. <laughs> yeah. Can, yeah. That's can how I say great it my is. favorite review of all my reviews was Tom for Famish. Oh. And it really touched me. It really like made me a little weepy. I made it. I was there for that. It was cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cute little bean. 
<laughs> I mean, do you have anything to, to, to plug uh, Cooking Caveman? And oh, yeah. Well, Cooking Caveman is sort of over. I've moved it all over to uh, jeffnemoy.com where you can read about One Game brand. And all my, yeah, and all about, you know, all my One Digimon and about my cousin Leonard Nimoy. My story is there. And, well, you know, all Digimon, uh, the movie especially, I have a long blog on that. I'm and about to read a lot I, of it. It's called tonight. Digimon, the movie, the blog. <laughs> and that's Digimon, the movie, the blog, the beginning. <laughs> and and every, every chapter is like that. So uh, so you can you can read all about my career and all that. It's, it's getting long. <laughs> it's getting long. Yeah. I don't think so. You're just getting started. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for listening. Uh, do... Just one last plug. Do check out that Nerd on Nation. It is how we grow. It is how we continue to upgrade our content and keep being the best that we can be. But that is it. There isn't any more. Thanks so much for listening. Take care of yourselves. You know the drill. As always, Nerd Nerd on! on! Peace, love, and donuts. Ending broadcast.